In this video I'm going to show you a really simple way that you can simply delete your old motherboard drivers saving you having to replace the operating system or to format the entire computer machine so if you want to know how to do that it really does work because I've done it myself before and stick around watch this video through right to the end and I will show you how it's done Alrighty then guys, welcome to another video, my name is Andrew and today, as I said before, I will be taking you through how to change out or delete your old motherboard drivers so you can change out your motherboard in your computer. Now, I dare say this works on both desktop and laptop, I've only ever done it myself on desktop so I can only but go on that knowledge that I have. But I'm not going to waste your time, I'm going to get right in and I'm going to show you how it's done. So please do bear in mind I can't show you the entire process on my computer because I need my computer and I can't risk losing anything. However, I will go in and I'll show you what to delete and where to go and find it. So the first place we're going to go to is the control panel. So we're going to come right down to the bottom left hand corner and we're going to right click on the Windows icon. I'm in Windows 8 on my computer and we're going to go to control panel. It's exactly the same process for anything else. Personal preference, I'm going to full screen everything so I can see what I'm doing and I'm going to select uninstall a program. Then here it's going to list and show you guys everything that you have on your computer. Now no, it won't be the same as mine, this is custom to me and this is custom to what I have on my own computer. However you will see some of the similar programs and the programs that we're going to go through and take off are exactly the same. So the programs you're mainly looking for is anything you think would be to do with the motherboard and the main computer itself. Now just a quick side note before we, ca before we carry on, why do we do this? Well if you want to change out the motherboard you're going to have old drivers off the old motherboard, new drivers going on the new motherboard, the motherboards don't work without drivers so you have to put them on there anyway so it's just going to cause chaos. So. I have done this before, as I said before myself, and yes it does work, I know other people that have done it after being shown by myself, and yes it does work for them as well. So I'm going to go through all of my programs I've got here, I'm going to explain to you guys what the program is for, and I'll also quickly go through what I use it myself for, and then we are going to yeah, take it from there I guess. So. Adobe Creative Cloud is mainly me, it's for Photoshop, um, I've got Premiere Pro on it but I don't pay for it. We're going to skip past all of those. Then the Apple application support would be one that you would want to take off, it's all stuff to do with the main computer. Make sure all your stuff's backed up, that way you can't really, you really can't go wrong. But you literally want anything that is motherboard. So this Audacity one for example, this is an add-on program, it's one you download off of the internet. So you may want to consider deleting and reinstalling that, however, it's not you know it's not important, you know, it can always be downloaded. Then you've got Bonjour, I don't really know what that's for, but it's Apple related, so I'm leaving it with the other ones. Elgato again is an add-on, so you can just download that. Epson is also an add-on, so that is for my printer, so I can sit here and print stuff into the main office room in the house. Uh, game Capture is the Elgato stuff. Chrome obviously is an add-on. Intel is part of your motherboard, so that is one that you would get rid of. These next four Intel ones are also ones you get rid of because they're related to Intel, which is your motherboard. Apple iTunes you want to keep or delete and reinstall. It. Again, it's an add-on, so it makes no odds. And then here you've got to be careful. So for me, this one that's highlighted and selected now is one that you would get rid of. Then Microsoft Office is an add-on which I purchased, so I want to keep that. OneDrive and all of these ones all down here are ones that can go. Pete, some people do use OneDrive, but I don't, so I could really do with taking it off, but it can stay there for now. Then N NVIDIA is my graphics card and I record all of these videos, I screen record all of these videos off of there. So that, as far as I'm concerned, can stay. Um, OnePlus is something to do with my phone as I have a OnePlus. So that would be something that I would leave. Uh, what else do we have down here? I'm just going to scroll down. Uh, audio driver, that comes off your motherboard as well. So that's one that can go. And then Filmora is what I edit in. And then World of Warcraft. I can't seem to get rid of that one. It's been on it ever since I started doing YouTube, uh, which is now three years. 
over all the different various channels. So that is pretty much all those ones. So pretty much all you want to do is delete all of the Microsoft related things and all of the Intel related things just off of the programs and programs and features. Then when you've done that, you may also through this get notifications to restart the computer you want to decline on each time because simply what that is going to do is mess your computer up even more your computer is also going to want to fix itself so then you, all you want to do is literally scrap that idea and leave it at that then you come out of there and you're taking back to your desktop then you want to go to my computer I'm gonna go on the files and then yes I know I've got some sorting out here to do but I, I label everything so I know what I need to sort out then you want to go up to my computer and right or it may on Windows 10 I know that it says this PC you want to right click on that and go to manage full screen that one again and then you want to go I believe it's to disk management no it's not to disk management oh dear where do we go I can't remember um, 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 um. device manager yes here you go then you want to quite literally open all of these up, all of these different icons, and anything motherboard related, as we said before, needs to be removed. So for that one, you would go to here, and then I believe uninstall. There you are. I'm not, as I said before, I'm not going to do it because I need my computer to work, so I can edit videos and stuff like that. But yeah, uh, then you can do disk drives. You can pretty much leave those. Uh, this one here, for me at least, has my operating system on it, and then these two are my storage drives, which is what I store all my videos and thumbnails and Photoshop documents and all that kind of stuff on. Uh, display adapters are fine. Graphics, I don't know whether that one needs to be removed. I'd leave it, to be fair, and then if you find that you need to remove it, you can always come back and do that one later. The ROM is all plugged in. That's the DVD drive. It's just pretty much looking for things that you would need to take off. So... USB ports, that's all motherboard stuff, so again that can all come off because that will all reinstall itself with the new drivers. Uh, monitor should be pretty much fine, the ports can all come off. Uh, processors, so these are ones you're going to need to get rid of because that's obviously CPU related. And you, chances are if you're getting get a new motherboard then you're going to be updating your CPU, so that would be a good one to get rid of at the time. All this kind of stuff can probably stay or it can go, I don't know. But it's pretty much going through. These will all have to come off because they're all USB stuff. So anything bus related or USB related or anything like that would need to come off. Uh, but that is pretty much it. Uh, then what you do is come out of that and come out of that. Make sure nothing else is open. These are my own, but just make sure nothing else is open. Go shut your PC off completely and utterly. Then when it is shut off, you can go ahead and swap out your motherboards and you should be good to go and you should just get straight through to your windows desktop so i really do hope that has helped as i said please don't take what i say for granted i am not a qualified technician i'm not qualified in this field to be talking i just did a video a little while ago and i wanted to make an updated version because there was a lot of un uh, other un uh, sorry unanswered questions on that one so yeah i thought i'd make this little update and seeing as i've got a new channel now it's going to be going on the new channel so thank you for watching this video, subscribe if you are new, share it with your friends because this is one that could really really help people out. So anything else let me know in the comments because I'd be more than happy to help out with anything I haven't answered or find answers for you guys. Uh, yeah there's nothing else more for me to say really other than thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time, bye for now.